I'm going to tell you what, folks. Hey, we've been around the world and back again. We've been on TV. We've been on HD, HTV 10 way back in the day with Redneck Adventures. Now, we love, love, love working with nonprofits and those folks in need indeed. I'm going to tell you something. Yesterday, these athletes behind us left from the capital, the state capital in Baton Rouge, and literally have been on the bicycles for 24 straight hours. Now, they pedaled, and they're pedaling for a cause, and the cause is a great cause. I tell you what, afterthemission.net, afterthemission.net. Check them out. It's a great cause. Today's an event. Uh, there's a group after the mission, and uh, what it is is it's raising awareness for law enforcement safety, and Louisiana leads the nation in law enforcement deaths this year. We want to bring awareness. Uh, after the mission is a veteran group. You know, after the mission is when you come back from service and you, your, your mission is done and you try to get back into society over here. Law enforcement has a tough job today. We want to bring awareness to the, the job that they have, the dangers that they have, but also raise some money to be able to give back to the families of the you know, fallen officers this year in Louisiana. You know, a lot of people want to know why we're motivated to do certain things or whatever. Today was important for us because I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Denham Springs, they had a police officer that was shot a couple months ago, as we need, and, and it's right there by our hometown. So it hits home. Law enforcement has a tough job today. A lot of crime, a lot of different things that we're dealing with today. They got a tough job, and we want to bring awareness to that job they have and also bring comfort to the families to know that there's people out there to support your loved ones, whether you're going still as an active duty um, police officer or you're falling and there's support for you still. It's just a good event. Uh, Ricky Falls asked me when he started the ATM after the mission to be like a consultant from to kind of help him out from the military's perspective uh, to help our veterans in need of just what he's doing with his program over there to take care of veterans when they come back home and try to give them a, a, a cause uh, to try to take care of them. And today's event is, is a due status over there. So right now, everything we're doing, the proceedings that Ricky's doing, riding his bike, all the way from the capital to New Orleans, and he continues jumping on a, a bicycle here to, to continue, because the more miles you rise, uh, the more benefits we can get uh, with donations. Uh, so today is causing everything going for our law enforcement. Uh, so as most people uh, elabor uh, elaborated today, that we, we're losing officers, you know, that are on the line of duty. And so that's what we're trying to do is take care of their families, again, too, after the mission. And so the bottom line is, is that we're trying to take care of our military and we're trying to take care of our law enforcement. And so if anything that you can do to help us out with the cause, with a donation, will be appreciated. And all the families that we're helping out, we love you and, uh, and to take care of what, what their needs are that they don't have today. Now, here's the real deal about it. Number one in the United States is our beloved Louisiana Sportsman's Paradise. Louisiana is the number one state in, I'm just going to say it like it is, homicides and murders and those men and women in blue that have lost their lives in the line of duty or while they were actually, um, you know, in the service of their police departments. This event is just uh, amazing. I've seen these athletes uh, just pedaling and pedaling and pedaling and uh, good, good stuff. I tell you, Ricky Foles contacted me several years ago, several months ago, and uh, also our good buddy Todd Terrell with United Cajun Navy. I'm going to tell you what, we met during Katrina on a bridge, uh, and, and, and the rest is literally great, good work in history. I can't say enough about this group and what they're doing. Hey, get involved, find out more, pledge. Your difference could truly help make the difference in those that have lost loved ones in their lives. I tell you what, we left Baton Rouge at 12 o'clock yesterday, and uh, as you can tell, it's pretty hot. Yesterday wasn't as hot as it was today. Uh, left Baton Rouge, of course, went through uh, Denham Springs, Livingston Parish, St. Tammany, Covington, Slidell, and then eventually here in our uh, Barcadia. Uh, they're riding the stationary bikes uh, the rest of the time. They got, we got here around midnight last night. So they've been riding the stationary bikes uh, since by midnight. The reason we decided to ride the stationary bikes here instead of bikes is because of everything going on. You know, Rock and Dukes is here as far as uh, there's a cooking contest. We wanted people to come here to be able to see them. And also, 24 hours is a long time to be riding out in that heat. So here it's a little bit more conditioned. They're still riding. A couple of them are over 200 miles so far. Borcadia offered for us to come here. Um, and as you can see, it's a perfect event. They have the street blocked off. Uh, we have vendors out here cooking. There's a contest. Uh, and like I said, we have Rock and Dupsy as a judge, a guest judge. So it's a good thing. People can't see a bike rider riding on the road. 
but they could come here and get involved. Not only watch them, make a donation, but they could also eat, enjoy a meal, and, you know, um, come have a drink. Hey, everybody. I'm Ivy Trosclam. I'm a bike builder. I'm an Army veteran. Uh, I'm here to support the cause. Anytime the veterans or uh, wounded police department or wounded warriors call me to help them out, I'm always here to help them. Uh, thoroughly support the police department, Blue Lives Matter movement. Uh, you know, just they need more help. Yeah, Ricky got me involved in this to help out. I wound up donating a paint job on one of the bikes they're going to raffle off for uh, Veterans Day. Uh, help out some of the veterans, disabled veterans. And whenever it comes to veterans on the police department, I'm always willing to give them my talent, my time, and I do what I can to help them out. Yeah, you know, see, seeing Ricky and, and, and his gang on these bikes today, you know, raising awareness for our veterans, our law enforcement, uh, it's something we do every day, right? But to have a group come out, all the cook-off teams that are here, again, some local guys from Lafouche, um, having all of us here with Rock and Doopsy and just the entertainment sector uh, is, is really cool, right? We got guys from Louisiana's Cajun Navy here that have been really good to us in Lafouche, especially after Hurricane Ida. So seeing this group really come together and supporting the people we need to support, right? Our veterans, our law enforcement, the people who put their law, their lives on the line every day so we can do things like this in the middle of New Orleans on Chapatulas on a Saturday morning is really cool. So I'm really excited to be here, really honored that Ricky asked me to come. Um, look, as, as a true Cajun who's got a full body, it's all about cook-offs and eating on Saturdays in South Louisiana. So I'm really happy to be able to come out here and support the organization. Chief Schwartz, we appreciate it and uh, we're excited to have you all out here today in honor a uh, tragic loss not too long ago, two officers. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's been a long time since Bay St. Louis Police Department had suffered uh, a line of duty loss, correct? Yes, actually, we had one loss in the county from the sheriff's office, but the actual first tragic loss of two officers ever for the Bay St. Louis Police Department. And that happened December 14th, 2022, on a call for service. And you know, my sympathy goes out to you and your department, but what Mr. Uh, what Ricky Fulce is doing with this, to bring awareness, to bring attention, and to, I guess say pay homage and pay honor, you know, and, and it's a pleasure to have y'all and a pleasure to meet you today. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to hand you mic, the mic to you and let you talk a little bit about yourself and your department and what you think about this event that's taking place. Yes, sir. I'll start off by, hey, we're, we're very honored to be here for the whole fact that after the mission has orchestrated this major event, between all the supporters, the supporting cast is incredible. Between the bands, the cooks, the culinary judges that are here and everybody supporting this, it is incredible from law enforcement, military, after the mission, if I understand correctly, they started supporting your, our veterans. Correct. And they have also transitioned out for our law enforcement uh, partners. Law enforcement and first responders. And first responders, which is huge because they have that thankless job of serving the community and our nation. And it's, it's few and far between when they're recognized, but after the mission, it, it does this on a regular basis, routine basis, just about every year. And the support they get is just incredible. It means a lot to the families of these fallen men and women of service. And just to see it put on display because we go on with our daily lives every day after a bad incident we see on the news. But these families go on for the, for the rest of their lives. They've lost a loved one or it's somebody injured, severely injured in the line of duty or serving our country. Uh, we haven't forgotten them. And after the mission does a fine job of doing that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just real quick, I've just been advised and uh, updated that Mr. Ricky Falsh just hit the 250-mile mark riding. That is a great accomplishment, a great feat. So, Rock and Doopsy, it's always a pleasure and honor to have you. I'm going to hand you the mic over, and I'm going to step out the way and let you do your thing. And you'll be asked some questions. You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, the great musician, always promoting Louisiana any way he can, not only through music, but in all other ways, Rockin' Dipsy Jr. Thank you. Well, I think today's event is a great event. When Ricky called me and told me that it was gonna be riding and raising all this and doing this for the men in blue, you know, I, I think it's a good thing. When he asked me, I said, I, I, I have to do this because if anybody knows me, you know, I do a lot of stuff for the men in blue in New Orleans. 
exactly for Night Out Against Crime. And there's a concert we do every year for the New Orleans Police Department. And actually, one of the reasons I'm here is because I hope I can get out to a lot of people that's looking for a future in the police department because there's few policemen here in New Orleans and we're trying to build up our police force. So if you can get my message, join the force. It's, it's good. I think what people should take from today's event is that look, everybody, the Cajun Navy, everybody's coming together to give back, to honor uh, such a good thing and uh, just do what you can to support the men in blue. You know, that's that's our, that, that's our, I don't know how to say it, but that's people we depend on, on everyday life is the man in blue, especially the way the world is going today. You know, we need, we need our men in blue and we need them to stay safe. I'd like to highlight on those officers if possible. Oh, uh, please do. Uh, on, on December 22nd, uh, December 14th, 2022, there was a call for service at a hotel, a Motel 6, and our Sergeant Stephen Robin and Officer Brandon Estor for the Bay St. Louis Police Department responded uh, to a call of a uh, possible stalker. And upon uh, going to the call at the motel, they encountered a, uh, the suspect, who actually was the initial caller, and her eight-year-old daughter. And they realized it was more of a, it was a mental health issue than anything. The unfortunate part is, tragic event. It ended in the loss of our two officers. Uh, they died giving the ultimate sacrifice. They were able to, they were trying to remove this, this young juvenile out of a bad situation uh, prior to the shooting. And so we always honor and remember them for what they did and every other fallen officer in the, who has given and made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. And it, it's unfortunate. Louisiana uh, has had quite a few since 2016 uh, to include us over in Mississippi. We're just thankful uh, that, hey, after the mission is recognizing these officers and their sacrifice. And we're honored to do this, to recognize these officers. From 2016 to 2023, it's 30 officers, officers that we're recognizing. And one is too many, and 30 is... I don't have the words, I can't find the words to say that is way too many. 30. It's way too many. It's way too many. And uh, I've been fortunate. I'm, I'm right at a 30 year career in law enforcement. I've been shot in the line of duty uh, many, many years ago in 2001. But I'm actually one who can be alive today to give thanks to the ones who've given the ultimate sacrifice. Because they sign up for that job knowing, hey, this is the reality of the job. Oh, uh, this could happen. And unfortunately, it does happen. And like you said, one is too many. 30 in that time span that, that after the mission is, is recognizing them, it, it is too many, but they're not forgotten. They're always honored. They're always with me. Exactly. Chief Schwartz, we thank you all for coming out today, and we thank you for what you do day in, day out in the service and putting your life on the line, serving Biloxi, Mississippi. I mean, Bay St. Louis, I'm sorry. Hey, hey. And likewise, after the mission, thank you guys for what you all do. It really means a lot. Thank you.